Hi everyone, this is Val and uh, this is another little quick video in my junk journaling on a shoestring series. And this one is about utilising that great resource for junk journalers called the Op Shop. So here I've got some of the things I've picked up from my local Op Shop and uh, just to give you some ideas. I love this music book, always great. Um, we can make pages, pockets, tags, uh, anything you like. You can use them to make little envelopes. They look beautiful, embellished or not. And uh, yeah, so very, very versatile, the music book. So if you see those, snap them up. Just a magazine too. You have a look at this. Look at the gorgeous pictures. I've covered magazines in another in another um video about how to you know get ephemera and words and all kinds of stuff from whole pages if you wish from your magazines but I mention it again simply because your op shop is a good source and I think I paid 20 cents for this so you know quite good value one of the other thing that I've mentioned before I think oops I've got it up no I haven't got it upside down is your paper your packs of um note paper and so forth. They don't seem to be so popular anymore. I think this one had been marked at 80 cents, but they had the red spot on it, so I got it for 40 cents. Look at this. Um, beautiful envelopes in here and lots of paper. Look at how beautiful that paper is. That can be used as, um, you know, just to put it into a, into, a, into a journal. Just fold it in half and stick that in as a page. Or you can, you know, put fold the it up and put it in the envelope and put it in the journal like that. So they're always a good thing to look out for. Um, I get a lot of those kind of things. I got my lace there. I got all these laces. Look at these. How much that, how beautiful they are. Um, I got those for I think two or three dollars per card and there's meters on. I didn't measure it. I just knew it was good value. Uh, so I got those there. Also buttons. Little packets of buttons are great to get from the op shop. Sometimes they have things like stamps and dies and all sorts of crafting things, you know, beautiful markers, pencils, all sorts of things. And you won't know what treasures your op shop holds until you go and have a look. And when I'm traveling, my husband gets a bit peeved at this sometimes, but I can barely pass an op shop without checking it out. And some have lots of stuff and some just don't see the value of keeping these kind of elements and sometimes I think I should go through the skip bin of what they decide is junk and they don't want to put on the shelves but that's another story. So do check out your op shops, they are a wonderful source of stuff for your journals, very inexpensive. Thank you.